My name is Nico with Standard Arms in Hilliard, Ohio. Today we have a vintage Smith & Wesson revolver that came in for a cleaning. Now this revolver is beat. This has certainly seen a lot of use and misuse. And of course the grips are not original. These are aftermarket grips. One thing I noticed right away was this marking on the hammer. I am not a Smith & Wesson expert, uh, but I've just never seen this before and I think this looks really good. Checkering on the hammer. Now when we look at this pistol further, we see that it's marked with a lot of proof markings behind every flute on this cylinder is a British proof marking. And with a little bit of research, these proof markings go back to the Birmingham house from about 1959. There we see three and a half tons. I'm not going to begin to try to explain all these markings. I, uh, I really don't know all that much about British Lend-Lease revolvers or firearms in general. But I believe this was a uh, police revolver. I don't believe this was military. But I really don't know. If somebody knows and could shed some light on uh, the history of this gun, I'd, I'd like to hear more. There it is. 9849. And when we look inside the cylinder here, we see that these numbers are matching as 16951 and 16951. Beautiful, beautiful revolver that is in uh, really, really rough condition now, but still in good functioning order. It cleaned up really well. And surprisingly, it's pretty tight. That's a little loose right there. And that one right there is really tight. That is a beautiful, beautiful gun. And I'm sure the customer is going to be happy to have it back. Thanks for watching. Mr. Webley, I trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't for this one. He does for this one. He does for this one. What do you mean by this one?